Hi everyone, so this is tutorial sheet 4, uh, question 9. So the question is saying given that A is equal to that matrix, uh, find the adjoint of A and determine the matrix product of A and its adjoint. So here, uh, to find the adjoint of A, you first have to find what we call the minus of A. So you find the matrix of minors and then after finding the matrix of minors you you multiply it with uh, the, the you multiply it with this let me just write it here yeah you multiply it with this this matrix here then after multiplying it with this it will now be called the matrix of cofactors and then uh, that matrix of cofactors that you are going to get you just now transpose it so the transpose of the matrix of cofactors is what is called the adjoint so we begin um so to find the to find the the So to find the the matrix of minus of this uh, matrix, you write uh, you, you look at these two. If you want to find the number, that is going to be the first one here. So the matrix of cofactors is just this part here. This part. So meaning we're going to it's just the way the same way we find the determinant. It's just that we're not going to be multiplying with uh, these numbers here. So to find the first number here, we're going to multiply this minor the the minor for two here which is a uh, negative four times five negative four times five you get negative twenty and then negative twenty minus negative two because negative one times two you get negative two so it's going to be negative twenty minus negative two which is just the same as negative twenty plus two and then you get your answer to be uh, 18 negative 18 and then negative 18 we move on to the next one here to find the next second number here meaning you are cancel you, you are closing this line and this line the remaining numbers are the ones that you multiply to find the minor so 0 times 5 that is 0 and then 1 times 2 you get your positive 2 there so it will be 0 neg minus 2 so meaning here we are going to have negative 2 and then followed by we find the minor for that the minor for negative 4 is going to be 0 times negative 1 0 minus 1 times negative 4 which is negative 4 so 0 minus negative 4 you get your positive 4 there so that is what you are going to get and then apart from that, we also now proceed to finding the minors of the second row. So the minors of the second row here, we also do the same. To find the minor for zero, you close this line and that line. The remaining numbers are the ones that you uh, use now to find the minor. So we're going to have 15. 3 times 5 will be 15. Then minus 1 times negative 1 times negative 4, you get 4. So it's just the same as 15 minus 4, which gives you uh, 15 minus 4, which gives you 11. And then uh, what follows here is uh, you also find the minor for this, meaning you are closing this line and that line. So this is going to be 2 times 5, you get uh, 10. 10 minus negative 4, you, it's just the same as 10 plus 4, which gives you 14. So you go on like that, you find your negative 5 here. And then there, you find the minor where you say you close this line and that line meaning you are going to have three times two which is six six uh six uh yeah 
we are going to have 3 times 2 which is 6 and then 6 minus uh, negative 4 times negative 4 it's going to be 6 minus negative 6 minus 16 which gives you negative 10 here then you keep on going here you get 4 then here you get positive 8 so now it's just a matter of us inserting this so this positive goes with the first number there the negative goes with the second number there the positive here goes with the third number there so when we insert in these um, signs there we're going to have something like so positive times negative 18 you get uh, po negative 18 this negative times negative 2 you get positive 2 so you write your 2 there positive times 4 you get your 4 there and then negative times 11 you get negative 11 so you keep on going like that you're going to have here you have 14 and then here you have a positive 5 negative times negative 5 there you get a positive 5 and then here you get your negative 10 like that and then here you get negative 4 sorry this was supposed to be negative 8 then here you, you get your negative 8 like that So after finding the answer, after finding this, the, the matrix of cofactors, you now just transpose this matrix. So the transpose of this matrix is what is called the adjoint. So the transpose of this matrix is the one that we are calling the adjoint of A. So it's what we are calling the adjoint of A. So the adjoint of A is just the transpose of that matrix. So let us uh, transpose the matrix. So when transposing the matrix, the first number there remains the same. The first entry there remains the same. And then all the rows becomes the columns. So you are going to have something like this negative 10 this side and then you have mm, you have uh, 2 14 negative 4 then you have 4 you have 5 you have negative 8 so just make sure that the leading diagonal has the same numbers or as the previous matrix the leading diagonal is just this number line here so negative 18 14 and 8 are supposed to be the same here negative 14 18 and 8 there they are not supposed to change so this is the adjoint of a now we move on to finding uh they are saying find the adjoint of a and determine the matrix uh product a and the adjoint of a so meaning we find now the matrix product there so th they are saying the adjoint of we multiply the adjoint so we multiply the adjoint of a times a so the multiplication of this <coughs> is uh, going to be like this, this is negative 18 negative 11 negative 10 then you have 2 14 negative 4 you have negative 8 then you have 5 you have 4 there then you close then they are saying you multiply it with a Actually, they are saying we start with A and then multiply with that. Uh, multiply, multiply it with the adjoint. Let me just remove this.
So they are saying we multiply a. The question is saying we multiply a times it. It's adjoint. And then let me write a here. Yes. So here you are going to start multiplying. So when you multiply this, you are going to have 2 times negative 18, you get your negative. Uh, negative, uh, sorry, negative 36. And then 3 times 2 there, you get your negative 6. Then negative 4 times negative 4. Uh, negative 4 times negative 4 you get your negative 16 you move on to the next row then the next column this side so it will be 2 times negative 11 you get your negative 22 and then you have 3 times 14 when you multiply matrices it's row by column so it's going to be two times three times uh, fourteen. So three times fourteen, you get your answer to be is it forty two? So three times fourteen, you get positive forty two. And then negative four times five, you get negative twenty. So when you when you simplify this let's let's see what we are going to get so two times negative 20 you get negative uh, two times negative 10 you get negative 20 and then three times four negative four there get negative 12 and then negative four times eight you get uh, negative four times negative eight you get positive 32 So here, uh, when you multiply this, you are going to get your answer to be this. So this is going to be your answer. Uh, on the previous uh, part where I, I wrote the expression for this, that was supposed to be positive 6, not negative 6. So when you add, you are going to get this as your answer. When you multiply these uh, uh, two these two matrices all right thank you very much for watching so please make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions contributions you can send them via this line here on up and i will be there to respond to you see you in the next tutorial video